so much left on the bus. What's that then? Two portions of fish and chips. Ah, well, you better hand it in a lost property. Oh, can't do that. Why not? I'm hungry. So am I. Let's get stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector? Yes, madam? I've just left something off one of your buses. Oh, well, rest assured, madam, all my crews are fully trained as regards to lost property. I should hope so. Well, if it hasn't already been handed in, it soon will be, I tell you. <laughs> This is the best bit, you know, Jack. This yeah. bit right on the bone here. <laughs> oh, bloody crazy, isn't it? Well, you've got a hanky, haven't you? Yeah, I ain't going to use that. That's mine. No, I'll wipe it on this. It belongs to the company. <laughs> <laughs> now, I shall need your full name and address and a complete description of the property you lost, right? Two portions of fish and chips. Two portions of... <laughs> <laughs> Two portions of fish and chips. Is that all? Oh, that was my old man's supper, best place on the bone. I want it back. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do for you. What bus were you on, you know? Ah. <laughs> oh, blimey. That old woman was on our bus. Quick, get rid of the stuff. What's wrong with that, then? Well, it must be her fish and chips. Oh, blimey. Come on, shove it in the used ticket. Right. <laughs> oh, uh, butter. Uh, this, mm. this lady here says she's left some fish and chips on your bus. You found it, have you? Well, that's not in my department. You ask it in. Oh, no, there's nothing on that bus, sir. You can have a look if you like, but I've already checked it. This is the bus. Number 11 from Cemetery Gates. I left it on here when I got off at the High Street. Hang on a minute. This lady couldn't have been in our bus. <laughs> I mean, we, we've only just got here. I mean, how should be the same time as us? Well, she caught the next bus to you. Well, that's what I mean. That's 20 minutes after us. Yes, and it got here five minutes before you. <laughs> You've been late again, as usual, ain't you? There's a definite smell of fish round here. Oh, yeah, but that's not the fish and chips, madam. Uh, well, we don't like to talk about it here, but... Uh... Oh. Mm. What's you insinuating? <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's that rubber mac he uses, you see. It's like tennis shoes on a hot day, and it's stronger. It's always the same. Whenever you leave anything on a bus, you can never get it back. I shall write to the manager about this. And other things. <laughs> How dare you suggest things like that about me to that woman? Well, let's place it, Blakey. Everybody in the depot knows that you do have a personal right. problem, you know. <laughs> Blimey, your best friends wouldn't tell you. Yeah, but we don't mind telling you because we hate your guts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 do you mind? What? I've got to empty the used ticket box. No, no it's all right. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. You're on a driver. How would you know well, about it? Get on here and clear that out. I want this bus to uh, run. No, that's, that's all right. Uh, mind your own business. Let me get on with it. Blimey! Someone's been stuffing fish bones in here. Look! <laughs> <laughs> I've got you, haven't I? I've got you. <laughs> I knew you had that woman's fish. No, no, no. It's not what you think, Blakey. Oh, no, 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 no. I suppose you was taking these bones in to the cemetery gates to bury them, wasn't you? <laughs> I'm having you in the manager's office. Come on. I'm taking this here in evidence, evidence mate. Now, you know you get the sack for this, don't you? Steve, you lost property. Hang about, mate. As shop steward, I'm here to tell you, under section 42, loose rat food is classed as litter. Yes, but there's nothing in the regulations about eating litter, is there? Anyway, go on, you take us to the office, we don't mind. I'll tell you something, you can't prove nothing. You haven't got a leg to stand on, mate. Oh. All right, then. Well, in future, every bus will have to be checked for lost property as soon as it comes in the depot, right? And you'll have to fill in the form every time and all. Now, you can get the bus out, cos you're late. We can't take it out yet. What? Why not? We ain't had our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't heard the best bit. By the time Blakey and the old girl got over to us, me and old Jack had scoffed a lot. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I don't find that very funny. You're just a common thief. Yeah, me dog, mate, it's left there. It is a criminal offence, mate. Stealing by finding. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was stealing by eating. <laughs> <laughs> You're splitting hairs, aren't you? You've got nothing to split, mate. No, oh, shut up. <laughs> Anything you leave on your buses, you're not likely to get back. It's not true. Oh, well, I don't know about nowadays, but in the old days, people was honest. I remember your dad got his teeth back. <laughs> he got his teeth back? <laughs> How on earth did he lose his teeth on a bus? Well, he used to keep them in his pocket. He only put them in when he wanted to eat. <laughs> well, if he wanted to smile at anybody, the mind boggles. Well, there wasn't no national health in them days. Anyway, there wasn't a very good fit. They were second-hand. <laughs> you don't mean to tell me he bought someone else's teeth? 
No, he didn't buy them. He inherited them from Uncle Willie when he died. <laughs> How nauseating. Anyway, the fact still remains he wouldn't have got them back in this day and age. Anything left on your bus gets pilfered by you lot. Oh, don't talk such rubbish, mate. We've got parcels down there, Depot, that haven't been claimed yet. Yeah, I left a parcel on a bus once and Arthur wouldn't let me go and claim it. Oh, yeah? What was in it? Well, it was in the first year of our marriage. I, I, I don't think you need to go into that. <laughs> it was just after Arthur had his operation. It was a special red see-through 90. Oh. Arthur bought it for me. It was all transparent mm. and it had holes in it. Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, love. It's just as well you lost it, because if you'd have worn it, he'd have been in hospital the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had enough of your crude remarks, mate. You're just a lot of thieves down at your depot. It's about time your company did something about it. As a matter of fact, they are. Old Blakey makes his way after every journey till we've filled in the lost property forms. Good. Bit of discipline wouldn't hurt you. Well, I'll tell you something, mate. It won't last for long. We had to get him browned off. As a matter of fact, they, uh, they got a bit of a surprise for him. <laughs> well, I might give it some stuff. Well, hey, it's delivering, ready? I'm dying to see old Blakey's face. <laughs> Serve him right. Mate, he has to report every stupid bit of lost property every time he come in. <laughs> Your brother will give him sit down base and pull a lamp and turn it in. <laughs> well, that's that, mate. Take it away. Tell it mate. Seven and a half minutes late. Just got time for a cup of tea and out again in five minutes. Hang right. about, we got some uh, lost property here. Oh, no, you would have. <laughs> yeah, well, come on then, write it all down. I don't want you accusing us of pinching stuff. All right, all right, I've got the form here. Come on, what's it? Well, you got something here, a woman left on the bus. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, feels like a hat. Well, I'll have to describe it, won't I? Oh, yeah, right. trying to give me. Now, come on, Blakey, put it down, describe it properly. Now, who'd bring a thing like that on a bus with him? Well, lots of people. We've got a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> and the way you two dawdle about, mate, you'd need to hand him out with the tickets. Oh, God, all right. Let's see, uh, one China receptacle. <laughs> value. I wonder what you value that is, then. Well, it's all the corner how urgently you need it. <laughs> right. Oh, don't tell me you've got something else there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look here. Oh, right. It's a large-sized block of ice cream. Oh, well, we won't bother about that, Lisa. Oh, yes, you will. You put it down. We don't want to be accused of pinching it like we were that lady's fish. Yes, you do, then. Right, that's it. Don't! Oh, no, 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 Oh, no, 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 no. You made the regulations. Everything found on the bus must be brought back well, to the depot. Well, you've got to use your blooming common sense, haven't you? Oh, God, take it yeah, out. You yeah, yeah. ain't got anything else. Look at that all over me, Paul. Yes, yes, I found this under the back seat, yeah. What's that mean? Well, yeah. Uh, it looks like a chastity belt. Oh. <laughs> it's really a truck. Oh, is it? Well, wait now. Things people bring on buses with them, I don't know. You ain't got anything else there, have you? Yes, yes, I found this, Blakey. Oh, oh I see. Uh, one lace handkerchief. Oh, no, wait a minute. I mean, we must make sure... Well, I uh, wouldn't describe that as a lace handkerchief. <laughs> no, not really. Mind you, some girls do bring them home in their handbags. Lecturers, <laughs> spying <laughs> you. Yeah, all right, yeah, it's all right, I can see them. Uh, one pair, ladies... Undergarment. <laughs> yeah, hang about. How do you know they're ladies? Well, he has had his moments. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The things people bring on buses. I know. All the years I've been here, I've never known stuff like that to be left on a bus before. Oh, yeah. Uh, I suppose you've got nothing else here like that. Have you, uh, no, well, just this uh, tin of toppies, Blakey. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we won't bother about top. Oh, yes, we will, yes, we will. I want you to check every one of them in there. We don't want to be accused of pinching people's sweeties. Give us it here, then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, no. 
about this, didn't you? Hey, eh? you knew about this, didn't you? You done this to make fun of me, didn't you? Hey, eh? eh? you had all that stuff planted there. It doesn't matter. It's all got to go down. It's got to be reported. <laughs> I've had just about as much as I can take. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Let me take it easy. I'll have a I'll have a I'll have a I can't stay no more. Now, Blakey, Blakey, calm down. You'll strain yourself. Ah, let him, mate. <laughs> he can always wear this. <laughs> <laughs> That's us finished for the night. Come on, let's get down the boozer and get one before they close. Lovely. Hang about. <laughs> Lost property, Paul. Oh, will you fill it in? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, go I'm not going to be made a fool of again, mate. You check that bus thoroughly, fill that form in and hand it on to the security guard tonight, right? Ah, uh, well, there's nothing found on the bus. Well, write down nothing then and sign it. Come on, it's your responsibility from now on. Oh, blimey, old Frankenstein's getting crafty. They must have got his head working properly. Yeah. They must have tightened his bolts up a bit. <laughs> All right. Never mind about going to the pub, mate. You stay and check that bus properly and fill that form in and hand it in. I'm more foam out of it. God, blimey, I'm dying for a pint. Me There's too. nothing on that bus except a few evening newspapers. Oh, is there? I'll have one of them. Why don't you do that? Nothing found on bus. Yeah. That'll do. Right, come on, mate. Let's no, get wait, wait, wait a minute. I found this envelope under the seat. Oh, well, chuck it away. It's only litter. No, you can't. It's sealed up and it's... There's a little hard thing in it. No, I better add it in the security. Well, I miss our pint. No, chuck it in Joe Smith. Yeah, right. Nah, blimey, I can't do that. No. I tell you what, I'll take it home with me tonight, bring it in first thing in the morning. Great idea. Right. Night, Joe. Night, Joe. Night. Night. <laughs> oh, Stan, love, it's after midnight. Come on, time for bed. Yeah, I'm just having this bit of bread and cheese, Mum. Mm. I've got a bit of package right for having them pints, see? Oh, right, I love. Oh, who can it be at this time of night? It's our boat. She's gone. <laughs> gone? Where's she going at 12 o'clock at night? <laughs> I feel she's gone. I can oh. feel it. I'm sure of it. Oh, don't, don't be melodramatic. Oh, no. You know like. It's a, it's a wrong number. Oh. Hello? Butler? Is that you? Yeah. Hello, Blackie. What do you want? I've been got out of bed by the general manager. Yes. Yeah. Butler? Yeah. You found an envelope on that last bus, didn't you? And you took it home with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Blakey, I nearly chucked it away. Chucked it away? You chucked it away. No, I chucked it away. Butler, there was a diamond in that envelope. What? A diamond worth over a hundred pounds. It was dropped by a jeweler. Yo, bloody hell, was right to know. Butler. Yeah? If you've lost that, <laughs> you read it, you know that, don't you? <laughs> you know the regulations concerning lost property. You should have handed it in right away. Well, it's all right. I've, I've got it here. I've got it here. You've you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Here, Butler. Yeah. You bring that in first thing in the morning, won't you? Right. Uh. Yeah, Blakey, I'll tell you, I promise you, I'll bring it in first thing in the morning, Blakey. Blakey. Oi, it's gone. What was it, love? Uh, it's Blakey. Uh, I left an envelope on here, Mum. Hey. An envelope, Mum, I found it on the bus court. It's got a diamond in it. What? I left an envelope on here with a newspaper. Oh! Oh, Arthur took the evening paper upstairs to bed with him. And the envelope. What? He really wanted something to do his pools on. His pools? God, I'll kill him. Why didn't he leave my things alone? <laughs> Oh, God, where's he had to lock the door for? Well, they are entitled to a little bit of privacy, dear. I know, but I didn't think they bothered. <laughs> Arthur! Arthur, let me in! Ah! What's the matter? Is the house burnt down? No, let me in! I've got Come on, let me in! Olive, <laughs> unlock the door. <laughs> Why? You're be nearer. Because you locked it. Yeah, and that was a waste of time. <laughs> Wait a bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Wayne? You're putting your 
feet. Are you coming now? <laughs> what is it? You found an envelope on the sideboard. My giddy heart. You won't get me up in the middle of the night about some crumpled envelope. I found it on a bus. Yes, and it's got a diamond in it. And it's worth over 100 quid. So why didn't you hand it in? I didn't know it was in there, did I? Oh, now, come on, mate, don't mess about with the envelope. Oh, I was working out my permutations on it and I fell asleep doing it here somewhere. God. How can you fall asleep doing your pools? He can fall asleep doing anything. <laughs> Will you shut up? There it is. Right, ta. It's only half of envelope, and it's not in there. Oh, Where's the other half? I'll have used it to make out a shopping list. Blimey, what a marriage. You do your pulls and she makes out a shopping list. <laughs> have you got it? Where is I it? I didn't use it. Oh, good. It's, it's not there. It's, where is it? Don't anybody move. Mum's right. Don't... It might be on the bedspread. Yes, you're right. right. Mum, take it easy yes, now. Yes, yes. Now, come on, get your end. You got it. Oh, oh, you careful, got careful, it. careful, Mum. Yes, careful. Yes, gently does it. To me, shake it a bit. Watch it. Give it a juggle. <laughs> it's nothing there. Yeah, right, take it on. Take it on. <laughs> well, it's not under me pillows, right? I'll tell you that. It's not right. There's only one thing for it. It must be in the bed. Ah! <laughs> I am finding this highly embarrassing. Ah, ah, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, good old Mum. <laughs> Great, she's got... That's not it. Why do you have to cut your toenails in bed? <laughs> That's what I always say. Why don't you make the bed? I've cut them in three weeks. Yeah. Don't anybody know. Where are you going? I'm going to get me torch. Right, that's it. <laughs> well, it, uh, it must be here somewhere. I suppose I'll put it on. No, don't you move. Just keep still. You might knock it anywhere. Here, here, mate, mate, yeah. mate. You are supposed to be looking for a diamond, not giving me a medical. <laughs> Shut up! It ain't there. Oh, lift, lift up. <gasps> Go on, lift up, lift up. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! Oh, oh. <laughs> Get off! I've got it. Oh, blimey, it's a crumb. Uh, well, I always eat biscuits before I go to sleep. Well, it must be here somewhere. I'm not joking, look at this. This bed's full of crumbs, you know. Don't you ever make it? The amount of food she eats in bed doesn't need making, it needs sweeping. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big tear in the sheet. Now you know why I told him to cut his toenails. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, I got it. <laughs> oh, blimey, it's one of your rotten pills. It's not my pill. I don't take a pill. Arthur does. <laughs> Arthur does? What do you take one for? I take it for night cramp. <laughs> it relaxes my muscles and ensures I'll get eight hours uninterrupted sleep. Blimey, the one is eating biscuits all night. Here, have you found it? No, I haven't, Mum. Right, I'll oh. look under the bed. Oh. Now. Mm. Oh, we should have looked under here before. Oh, good. Have you found a diamond? No, but I've found three inches of flam. That does it. Lock that door, Mum. Right. Lock that door. Hey, what are you doing? Nobody's going to leave this room until I've found it. Olive, get out of there and stand up on that chair and take it easy. Right, now then, get up on that chair. Take it easy, doll. That's it, love. Right. Now, Arthur, you do the same. You must be joking, mate. You come back and look for it tomorrow, I'm going to sleep. Are you? If you're going to sleep, mate, there's only a place you'll place you're doing it, and that's on the floor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I look through all the sheets and pillowcases. I can't find it. No, no, I can't. It's not under the line, though. Well, I shouldn't give up, Art, mate. You haven't taken the floorboards up yet. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll go and get the hammer and chisel. Oh, shut up. Don't be stupid. I'm getting fed up with this. You shut up. If you hadn't taken the envelope, I wouldn't have lost the diamond, would I? Stan, can I get down off this chair? No, 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 darling. No, don't move. No, no. The more people are moving around, the less chance I've got to find it, haven't I? But the chair's so hard, it keeps hurting my corn. Yeah, well, I can't help it, darling. I've... 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 <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's OK! I found it! Hey! The diamond there! It's in that little round hole in the corn glass. <laughs> Wait a minute, love. Ah! <laughs> oh, how did it get there? You <laughs> stupid great lump. Must have been when you were trampling all over me. Hey? <laughs> you what? No, that was when I had to unlock the door and get back into bed. Oh, well, anyway. You had it, that eh? Lovely. Ah, lovely. Come on, Mum. Now we can have a good night and kip. Hey, just, just, just... Just one minute, mate. You can't walk out of the room leaving it like this. It'd take us two hours to get it straight again. Look, mate, you've always said it needed a good turnout. Now you've had one, haven't you? <laughs> 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 What's happening here? Give Blakey back the diamond. Of 
course I did. I gave him the first thing this morning. He's in it with him now. I could get the sack for this, you know. Yeah, if Blakey has anything to do with it, you probably will. Yeah, well, I, I, I pleaded with him to do his best. You should never let me take that envelope home. Oh, blimey, mate. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey, he's smiling. That means you have got the sack. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Butler? I sorted out that business about the lost diamond with the general manager. You, you didn't tell him I took the envelope home? Oh, no, no, no. I never mentioned your name at all. Kept it right out. You did? Yeah. Yes, I told him I came back here in the middle of the night and I personally found it stuffed down the corner of one of the seats. God! <laughs> oh, Blakey, blimey, you're a good'un. Hey, he's a good'un, Jack. I tell you, he's a good'un, isn't he? That's hey, right. hey, I never thought you'd do a thing like that for me. No, neither did I until I found out it was ten pound reward for the finder. I've got to check there, look. Yeah, it's good, Blake, that. Of course, you see, uh, I I'm entitled to half of that, aren't I? Yeah, I know. That's what's so marvellous about it. <laughs> you're not getting it. <laughs> Why not? You told me to keep your name out of it, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet this has taught you a lesson, innit, eh? eh? No, no, not really, no. Good, come on, of course No, you. it hasn't taught me a lesson, it's taught me nothing. Why I've not? always known you couldn't trust an inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, let's get the bus out there. Yeah, right, right. <laughs>